on the midweek catch up. Um, first of all, let's look back at Saturday's game against Derby United. Um, would you say it was a complete performance in the end? Yeah, it was definitely our best performance of the season. Um, but there was still things within the game that I'm sure the manager don't want to work on. Um, the manager's only been in there a week, so it's still early days. And uh, but it's definitely a, a platform to build from. Um, but the manager's already told us that it is only that. It's only a start, um, and it's nice to hear that. In terms of the way that the game went in the first half, we obviously got that early goal and seemed to take control and, and probably deservedly going at least two goals ahead and really killed the game off early on in the second half. Was the most pleasing thing the way after the, the third goal we, we controlled the game, we managed the game and, and saw it out pretty comfortably? I think we controlled it and managed it from, from the kick-off to be honest. Um, obviously getting the, the first goal settles us a little bit and then the, the second goal comes after that and like you said, we managed the game well after that, but I thought even before the goals we were moving it well and we had a few challenges before that, so I thought we, we controlled the game for 90 minutes. In terms of the young guys that have contributed to the wins over the last few weeks, we've had Lewis McCann scoring a couple of goals there on Saturday, Matty Todd of course has came in and done well over the last few weeks and Paul Allen's been in and around the squad all season. How do you rate the Dunfermline youngsters this season? Yeah, they've done great. Um, obviously they're, they're still learning, but we've got a good squad here. Um, a squad that no doubt is underachieved for the for the first part of the season, but so the new managers come in now and we've got two good performances in the bouts and hopefully it's something to build on and build a bit of momentum. But now the young boys have come in and, and they've done great. Obviously Lewis came in at the weekend and, and got his goal uh, last week. I thought he was great as well without without getting on the score sheet, but um, he held it all up well. So it's nice nice for him to get a couple of goals. In terms of yourself, you you've came back from injury, but you've sorted back into. Uh, the side over the last two weeks and, and we've got those victories. There was a lot of rotation in midfield on Saturday in particular but you seem to, to continue to kind of be in that kind of central role. Do, do, do you feel that the balance in the midfield, especially on Saturday, worked really well? Yeah, I think it was. Um, we started off um, with Dowser and Toddy in there next to me so um, they were playing a little bit higher so it allows me to drop in and sort of try and get on the ball and and start attacks from deeper and let them get forward and just let the younger ones get get on a bit. But um, no, I thought really really well we played and the, the, as you said the rotation and the movement was great off the ball and it's everyone wanted the ball in the game as well so that helps the uh, the passing and the decision making from everyone so that no, was great it was a good performance. In terms of this weekend, Paddock Thistle, different competition in the Scottish Cup. Is that a good distraction for us to, to go away from the league and, and focus on another competition or would we have liked to have continued that momentum in the league to, to try and build our way back up the table? It's another game that we, we can build momentum. We thought it's a cup game but um, so winning becomes a habit so we need to, to target another win on Friday, whether it's the cup, the league or, or whatever it is. Um, See, we've got two good wins and we'll, we'll hope to build on that going into Friday and, and moving on for the rest of the season. We know how tough a task it will be against Park Thistle. We've won one, drew one and lost one already this season. In terms of the last time we went to Fair Hill, I know will draw um, something to build on. Yeah, they're a good side. I mean, you can see that the, the league position in the, uh, in the table. They've started very well. They're good physical side, they press you well. They've got good movement as well, so we know it'll be a tough game. Um, going back to the game that we played there a few weeks ago, I watched from the stands. I thought we could have probably nicked it, but they have probably nicked it in the end as well. So a draw was probably a fair result, but um, now we'll prepare the next couple of days and we'll know we'll have a tough game on Friday night.